the typhoon and its magnitude it's still after 12 days extremely shocking for newcomers uh, like me who arrived a few days ago and for all the teams that are working there for us the great difficulty has been access uh, there's a number of islands that have been affected. We are working on the eastern side of the country in the Samar Island, and the Samar Island is the one that received directly the hit of this uh, super typhoon. And uh, the level of destruction in three main uh, provinces is enormous. The first priorities uh, are obviously to bring food, water, uh, and healthcare to this population. We have identified uh, in the south of the island 180,000 uh, people uh, or 36,000 families that are mostly affected. So we're going to work on uh, bringing primary health care back. So the first stage, the emergency stage, is to bring mobile health clinics. And then in a later stage, we will help and support the medical facilities to restore their work, uh, to be rehabilitated. But the first thing is to bring actual health service. Providing clean water is as well key. And on the coastal areas, we are working on bringing water treatment plants that we are nowadays, to these days, installing, uh, as well as food. The first distribution we managed to do has been a food ration for over 10,000 families in the south of the island. It's ongoing at the moment. And it's been very complicated to bring food. It has to go by plane. And then we rented a boat that had difficulty to land. But we managed to bring it. And now we have regular supply. Uh, more and more so we can do a uh, job better. Many families have been shocked and, and have suffered a terrible separation and there's obviously loads of people with questions on their family member missing. I think uh, the, the island is now in a situation of mourning and uh, many families need to be able to communicate with their loved ones or to find them. Uh, the Philippine Red Cross has taken uh, a large number of requests and we have set up a new website which will help these families either to tell their loved ones that they are well and safe or to start a tracing process that can be a bit longer, unfortunately.